Yeah, all right. Gonna do something a bit different today. Uh, gonna do an unboxing of my brand new random orbital sander. It is a Makita B0 6030. So let's see what's in the box. It does come with a single 120 grit uh, abrasive disc and let's not forget we've also got the dust bag which can just go back in the box. Uh, definitely won't be using that. So I mean it looks like we've got a really really good length of cord. Still let's go through some of the features. Obviously you've got the you've got the speed dial here for your RPM. Got your safety button and your trigger there. Um, it's also got its see there an Allen key that comes with it. Um, That would be to replace the bottom pad. Now I suppose the only thing to do is to plug it in, see how it sounds. You'd have previously seen me using this, um, the Jealous. Uh, random opal sander which I had um, got it from Amazon for about forty pounds. Um, I first saw this reviewed by Carl Pope Woodcraft uh, quite some time ago, and it was it's been a good sander for a starter. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick test. Um, I did get some Merca Abernet, um abrasive discs also when I bought the sander an 80 grit um, 120 and 240 new sanders 150 mil uh, base whereas my old one was just 125 mil so i've got an older version of a merca abrasive disc on the jealous um, sander so i'm going to use that and it's not going to be a speed test or anything it's just to see the differences in using the two sanders.
up here that's not quite done but um, I wasn't gonna hang around another half hour until it's finished a little bit down there so oh and by the way I'm using scrap pallet wood it's just as good as anything else to use so now let's see what the Makita can do Wow, that took no time at all, but also this is really the, the Makita here, it's very comfortable to hold and use, um, obviously this is just an unboxing and immediate test, but what I'll do is three months down the line, once I've had good use of it, I'll do a further review um to let you know what i think of it so stay tuned for that and if you want to see my last project where i don't even use a sander check out the link up here it's a really good video on making a raised flower bed and i'll uh, see you next time